In my last video, I have explained Checkpoint has recently added 1600 and 1800 in its SMB package. So today I received 1600 from Checkpoint. I would like to share my experience with you. I was thinking that I will receive this device in 30 days or maybe faster as two weeks. But you would be surprised to know I received this device in three days. On third day, it is in my hands. So that's really impressive. Please share how is your experience with Checkpoint delivery. So today's topics are we will do unboxing of this box and we will see what we got inside this. Then I will share with you the hardware level feature of this device. Then we will discuss what are the software feature we get in this device. And then I will connect this device to the network and we will go to the initial configuration from the scratch. My name is Santosh Sharma. Welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Guru for you. Let's continue. This is a power cable, this is LAN cable. These are just a clamp so you can hang your device on the cabinet. This is type C console cable. So this is the device and it looks like this. The weight of this device is 6.16 kg and the dimensions are on the top. In this device you got 16 ports which are RJ45 and the speed is 1 GB. For DMZ also you got one RJ45 and one SAP port. Same you got for the WAN one RJ45 port and one port with SFP. You will not get SFP together with the box, so you need to buy that. I like this thing. They have given one type C console port and one port they have given RJ45. You got two USB 3.0 ports. This is a factory default and you need a pin to make this device to factory default. This is a SD card and you can put here micro SD of 32 GB or 64 GB. You got one port for power, which is 150 watt. Here you got turn on and off button so you can turn on or off your firewall and for the fans now let's discuss the software feature of this device firewall throughput is 4800 and next generation firewall throughput is 3200 ips throughput is 3500 and threat prevention throughput is 1500 mbps this device supports 55000 connections per second concurrent connection this device supports is really a lot 2 million 400 thousand concurrent connection which is 24 lakh in indian english you can connect 500 mobile vpn client user with this device if you're interested to know what kind of environmental condition this device can work then I would like to inform you that this device can work from 0 to 4 degree high temperature and the minus temperature this device support is from minus 45 degree to minus 60 degree so these were the impressive feature of this device you can see how powerful this device is now let's connect this device to the network so you can see this is my interface and I already got the IP address and this is my router IP so this is going to be my firewall IP Let's try to access this in a Chrome. I want to show you that you will get an error if you have a Mac. 1.1 4434 is the port that you need to give in the end. Advanced, you can see I don't get here continue option. It can be fixed but I don't want to spend my time to fix this option but I have alternative. You go to Safari and open that URL on the Safari and show detail and click on visit visit website and now you are in first time wizard so you can directly go to the next or you have here another option fetch setting from zero touch uh, if you have so many devices you can discuss with your provider and they can do pre-configuration so in that you can get the configuration from central point but in our case we will just do manually let's give some username as sherma let's give some strong password you can check and check this option, it's your wish. It will just send the data to checkpoint for improvement. You can see in my case, uh, the time zone is wrong. So I will just uh, correct the time zone. Now it is correct. Time is already okay, it's correct. Click on next. This is appliance name, just give some good name to your appliance. I'm in Netherlands, so I will give Netherlands firewall. Zero two, because this is the second firewall I'm configuring. This is my domain name, techguru4u.com. Next. Uh, local management and central management. I discussed this in my last video. So we will go for local management for now. Let's select static IP here. And this, the IP that I'm going to give is the IP that I get from my router. What I made is my DNS server. And that's it. Let's connect. You can see in the diagram also, you have to connect the cable to which port. WAN link is up. Nice. Click next. 
This is the LAN setting. You can see in the diagram that you have to connect the LAN cable to port number one. Uh, so the IP address is fine. Okay, let's keep some DSCP range. Let's do some exclusion range here. Item state of access. Here you can say from which network you can access your firewall. But I want it to be accessed from internet. Any IP address, click next. Okay, license is obtained. Here you can see software blade activation. We have two options, access control and threat prevention. In access control, you have firewall, application and URL filter, user awareness, remote access, which is VPN, and then site-to-site -site VPN. We will discuss this in detail. In threat prevention, you have IPS, antivirus, anti-bot, threat emulation, and anti-spam. So these are all things we will discuss in later videos. Nice, internet connected, license obtained, finish. Great, we are inside the device. The walkthrough I have already done, you can click on the link on the top to see the walkthrough of the device. I hope you like my video. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Please do comment and let me know if you want me to make video on another topic.